Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a singer whose hits include TikTok, We Are Who We Are, and Timber. Please welcome to The Late Show, Kesha. Hi. Hello, Steven. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Smart to wear a fur in here, by the way. This is a fake fur. I know it's a fake fur. I'm not trying to Girl. throw that on you right now. <laughs> Don't throw anything on me. It's fake as <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning or something. Who's even going to notice? Uh, 10 years ago, on New Year's Day, 10 yes. years ago, you dropped your first album, Animal. I did, Okay. Yes. That's uh, do those songs, like, come back to you now? Like, what's your perspective on those songs 10 years later? Well, it's what introduced me to my fans, my animals, who are the best. You call, and... oh, you, call them, okay, you call them the animals, yeah. right. Um, the animals. And I actually have to, I have to make a confession. There's a song. So I like to, like, I just put things out there in the universe, and I, like, make them happen. It's kind of like stalking, but it's like a slow burn. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't this like the secret, like that Oprah thing? Kind of, but yeah. it's like a little more intense. So I wrote a song mm -hmm. called Steven. Yes. About how you wouldn't call me and look at me now. Uh, I was not aware that I needed to call you. Can you? What, yeah, what okay. Is the... C sharp to F sharp. Steven, Steven, why won't you call me? Steven, why won't you call me? And then you did, and then I'm here! I please accept my apology. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I'm slightly flustered now. Um, <laughs> I've never had a pop song written about me before. I should read the lyrics more often. Yeah, they're super stalkery. No, you, your fans, you said, are called uh, the animals. My animals. And who, who do you fan out on? Who do you, is there anybody who you freak out when you see? Yes, okay, so actually, my, like, I like fanned out and geeked out super hard and slow stalked Dana Carvey because Wayne's World <laughs> is like the greatest piece of art ever made. So, you've slow-stalked two middle-aged comedians. Yeah. <laughs> Classic sex symbols. What, do you, do you actually know Dana Carvey? Well, yes, yeah, so I slow-stalked him, and now we're best friends forever. You're best friends yes, with we Dana were just Carvey. We were texting about you, sir. Uh, about me? Yeah. Because I know Dana Carvey. I will call him after this and call, say, is this true? Call right now. We were just texting. He's my mama bear. I do not know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> what is, no, does he look after you to make sure you're okay or what? No, what? we like go out and get drunk. I do not believe you. <laughs> I swear. I, I have swear. been out drinking with Dana Carvey many times. He orders one Amstel Light and goes to bed. <laughs> you are not drinking with Dana Carvey. I'm just like you didn't have a drink, but you don't you don't get hammered no, with we, Dana. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, we like went, I forget where, but then we got super drunk. And then David Spade showed up, who I used to slow stalk, but then like I gave up. <laughs> and... Again, middle aged comedian. <laughs> Not with a rock and bod. Bull, I mean, to me, beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. Thank you. <laughs> I think. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, your mother, and I'm correct, is it PB? PB. PB. Not PP. She, 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 okay. <laughs> she co-writes some of your songs with you. Yes. Who writes written. the more, who writes the, the crazier lyrics? Who is more, um, Well, she knows me really well. Oh, I don't know. She's, has no filter, and she's a hippie, and she's, has no filter. You know what I mean? She wrote a song that Dolly Parton recorded, yeah, I Yeah, so she, like, was writing beautiful country songs before I happened. Yes. And my way of rebelling was to write, like, raunchy, whatever you call my music. And 
then we started writing songs together. So Your Love Is My Drug. Yeah. We had, that was our first number one together. And mm -hmm. it's about how love is the best drug. Yes. And she's told me that she's tried them all and that's her favorite. <laughs> okay. So, but then you got to record the same, what's the name of the song your mom wrote for Dolly? For Dolly is Old Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You. And you, and you got to do that with Dolly. Yes. What so, was that like? She, she is mean, a gi giant. What are you speaking of? The Dolly is the a legend. The Dolly is a legend. Yes. yes. Okay, and she yeah. has a theme park. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And Dollywood. Yeah. In Pigeon Forge. Yep. Sure. And there's a store called Old Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You where you can make a candle out of your hand. Out of your hand? Yes. Can't do that at Disney. Dollywood. No. Dolly no. Know, They're Dolly not insured knows. for it. <laughs> Dolly knows what's up. So Dolly, like for me, I look up to Dolly. I'm like, what would Dolly do? WWD -D? D? Yeah. I thought sure. about getting it as a uh -huh. tattoo, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I always like think, like, what would Dolly Parton do? What would David Bowie do? Also a D. I see and the influence of David Bowie. Well, yeah, you got the uh, was, Latin his, makeup yes, on your face right now. It's his birthday week. And you, and you also have, you do the birthday week thing? Not for me, but for David Bowie. Okay, I just Hell didn't know. Yeah. I've heard about the birthday week, and I just don't, I don't understand birthday week. Every day's my birthday. God. <laughs> That, was, that either is fantastic or exhausting. I'm not sure which of those it is. Now, you, I know you have your own makeup line. I see you've got I do, it. Is yeah, this your I own do. makeup on your face? Yes, I have a lot of my makeup on my face, mm -hmm. and, and then I rubbed some other stuff in there. Yeah. All of but the I, makeup, I hope. Yeah. Yep. You never know. Is this it? Oh, yeah, I brought you some. I brought you some of my mm -hmm. makeup. There you go. There you go. So I was wondering yes. if you would like, like, just in celebration of David Bowie. Yes. If you would like for me to give you a super fast makeover. Keep in mind this took like three hours, so I'm gonna do you in like two minutes. So it won't mm -hmm. look quite as good, but I would love to like paint on your face. Sure, sure. See that. <laughs> While you're doing that. Okay, wait. Here's the makeup. I'm gonna move your glasses. If you don't care, move your glasses. That's so fine. Don't They're your just glasses. for looks. Okay. <laughs> And I just want to, uh, speaking of candles, uh, your forthcoming album, High Road. Yes, that's a Comes candle. out January 31st. Yep. Okay, and then a tour. And I'm going on a tour with Big Frida, who I met on the Kesha cruise. Okay. And we got matching tattoos, and now we have Raising Hell as my first single, and we did it together. And and wh while you're working on my face, can you tell, can you tell the people what song you're going to do tonight? I'm going to do Raising Hell with Big Frida. And it's gonna be awesome. Take, take your time. <laughs> take your time. I'll tell you what, while you're working on me, uh, we'll take a commercial break and stick around. We'll be right back with a performance by Ketchup. <laughs>